So Dennis, I wanted to share with you and with our audience what transpired since our big announcement in Louisiana uh, and give you some background, both positive and negative. Uh, I think that many of our viewers are going to be very curious to hear what happened. As you know, we have PragerU kids in schools now, and we've had over six states that have partnered with us. Our seventh state is Louisiana. Last week, my team and I had the most incredible experience in New Orleans. There was a teacher summit that we were invited to by the superintendent of education in Louisiana. There were 7,500 teachers in attendance. And over there, we made the announcement that we are here to serve. Our products are free. Um, they are available both to the parents and to the teachers, and they're never mandatory. They're always optional. One of the things that Louisiana has instituted recently is the Freedom Framework, which includes teaching kids about the Constitution, learning more civics, learning about America. And it was perfect for us because we have all this amazing content for children. And so we went over there with presentations. We presented in multiple groups to different teachers. One of the most special moments in my career was when we presented and teachers walked up to us almost in tears saying, you know, I'm teaching second, third, fourth grade, and I myself don't really understand some of these things that I'm teaching. I haven't been taught these things. And so being able to watch your videos and learn these things and then very quickly turn around and be able to deliver it to my students is so unbelievably helpful. There was a moment in the conference where the teachers started yelling at the presenter, one of our PragerU presenters, raising their hands, asking, how do we get, how do we get a, a hold of this content? How do we create these crosswalks between the state standards? Who spoke to the 7,500 teachers from, from PragerU? Anyone? So the, the sessions were made available to all of the teachers and the teachers, again, could make the choice to attend to attend our seminars, but they were our staff members that have been trained well, on how great. to train teachers. Right. It was so amazing. I mean, they were just like, tell me, how do I get these crosswalks between what PragerU is making and what the states are, what the state is requiring us to teach? And what's, what was so nice about it is that it was not about politics. It was really about just helping kids because the content is well, really teaching a, a, basics. Our stuff isn't about politics. It was not. And it, they 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 frame it as if it is. Right. But it, it isn't. They assume that if you say something positive about the United States of America, the greatest experiment in liberty in human history, which is why the French gave us the Statue of Liberty and they didn't keep it for themselves, uh, that's already political. Just to say anything positive exactly. about the United States. I'll tell you, these teachers agreed with us and they were not tainted by the ad hominem attacks that usually you would find on the media. And so it was so incredible. I get on the plane. The staff is just thrilled. We're like, we served yet another state. And I get a phone call from the team in Louisiana and I hear that superintendent Brumley's job is in jeopardy, that they're trying to pass bills to ban PragerU in Louisiana, and this whole thing To just, ban it. A bill to ban it. To ban it. Under the grounds that our content is discriminatory and anti-Semitic. We were called anti-Semites. Multiple times. Five times in the bill. So... You know, there's no better person to explain to us what happened in Louisiana than the superintendent himself. And I'd love for him to. I, join I just want to say, I'm going to embarrass you, sir. <laughs> but I, uh, I don't use the word often, but you're a hero to me and to all of us. I, I, and really to the, to the fight for what is good in America. I just, so I, I just have to say that you don't even have to react. Can you imagine we had more superintendent like brave Brumley? That would be amazing. Courage is everything, and and he exemplifies it. Uh, and it has it has actually, thank God, a good ending. Yeah. So, Doctor Brumley, can you tell us from your perspective, uh, given that we really have been back in Los Angeles, just hearing. Uh, really through the grapevine, what has transpired in Louisiana? Can you give us a first account of of what happened? Yeah, thank thank you for that, and thank you for having me. First of all, I would I would give you some background 
Um, what we know to be true is that across the country and in the state of Louisiana, uh, history and civics uh, don't receive the attention that they deserve. And in fact, our proficiency rates in these content areas are really low. Uh, I tend to think it's a national security issue whenever only 13 percent of students graduating from high school in the country are proficient in U.S. history. And the numbers in civics aren't much greater. Uh, and so what we decided to do a couple of years ago is embark on a process to develop what we ended up calling our freedom framework for history and for civics education. Uh, it allows students access to the papers, the places, and the people that have been foundational uh, in the American experiment. Uh, look, America is exceptional. It was exceptional from the beginning, and we have been on a pursuit of a more perfect union ever since day one, and that continues today. And we recognize the struggle and the sacrifice uh, that individuals have gone through to get us where we are today. And we want our students to know that, and we want our students to appreciate that. And so the partnership with, with you all at, at Prairie U is, is, is simple. Um, it's not mandatory for any teacher or any school system. Uh, we have not exchanged any funds. Um, it's just simply you all work to look at our exceptional uh, freedom framework of what students are uh, supposed to know and be able to do in civics and in U.S. history, and you assign your high-quality videos to those standards. Uh, that's essentially what's what's happening here. And so, so teachers can use those, uh, families can use those, and it just makes it helpful for everyone. Dr. Brumley, you did an exceptional job with Louisiana trying to help them, uh, the students there, increase their literacy rate, their math rate. I mean, you guys have been doing an amazing job over there. You were confirmed or you, you had confirmation hearings for a second term. And then suddenly you were called in for a random confirmation after making this announcement. Why did they do that? Is this something that ever happens? <laughs> no, it's, it's quite unusual. Um, look, we, we, uh, have advanced in the national rankings. Louisiana has never held a higher national ranking than we hold today. Um, we have moved up a number of places in those rankings. We're proud of that. That's a lot of hard work by our students in the state, by teachers, by policymakers, parents. Um, and we're trying to go back to the basics and things that are most important. Teaching kids to read, foundational math, you know, reworking the high school experience so kids are ready beyond high school graduation. You know, elevation of the teacher and expanding educational freedom. And and I have already served one term as Louisiana superintendent. I was thankful for that term. We've done good work. Um, and I was reappointed by the State Board of Education unanimously for a second term. Uh, I went through a Senate confirmation hearing uh, a few months ago uh, without any any issues. Um, and once we announced this partnership, uh, the next day I was called back in for a second confirmation hearing, which is highly unusual. Um, uh, the, the, the hearing went into executive session. I'm, I'm not at liberty to speak about the details of that. Um, but I would tell you, uh, at, at the end of the day, uh, the Louisiana Senate, uh, thankfully, uh, confirmed me unanimously, uh, to continue in my role as state superintendent. So I'm really honored to do this work. Just help me out. I'm, I'm curious. How did you go from being attacked by uh, members of the Louisiana Senate to being unanimously confirmed by the Louisiana Senate? Yeah, no, it's a great question. It's a fair question. I mean, look, our, our record speaks. Uh, we, we have worked across every demographic to serve students and educators and families, and we've done that well. We've done that together here in the state of Louisiana. And so it was quite the shock uh, for many. Uh, that this was even in question uh, in the final days of our legislative session. And certainly it's highly unusual that someone would be called back in for a, for a second hearing. Uh, but but I think so many uh, individuals or I think so many individuals on that grassroots level uh, just would not stand for this. Uh, and they contacted their senators. Uh, we had a, a set of, uh, of, of firm uh, senators that that held their ground. And at the end of the day, we, we made it through the process, uh, a unanimous uh, confirmation. Uh, but certainly there was there was plenty of spectacle along the way. I'll tell you that. The lesson that I learned from all of this is that 
look, the results are obviously what's most important. And we're, we are so happy that you remain the superintendent of Louisiana. But the, the point to really remember here is that it's about the process. And what they tried to do to you is to intimidate you and exhaust you and exhaust us and intimidate us because they assume that we're going to cower. They're going to assume that we're not going to want this mess, that we're going to say, you know what, it's just it's just not worth the energy. It's not the, worth the time. It's not worth the extra hours. It's not worth the ker- kerfuffle. They want to exhaust us through the process. And even if they know that they'll likely lose they'll still put you through the ringer just so you'll be exhausted enough to not try to do that again or so that another person who is watching you will be too intimidated by their ad hominem attacks knowing that they'll throw the entire kitchen sink at you in order for you to be too fearful to make a move. Look, it, it, it's unfortunate. I, I, I believe that, that America is the greatest country on the face of the earth. Uh, oftentimes I'll wear an American flag pin um, you know, so it, it, it's it's an odd day when those things are considered uh, controversial. Um, but but we are going to continue to do the work here in the state of Louisiana to support students and educators and families, uh, help get those students the education that they need and deserve uh, and expand educational freedom for families. So Marissa said that five times it was repeated or stated that PragerU, among other horrible things, is is anti-Semitic. So was it was it noted in in response that Marissa is Jewish, I'm Jewish, the the man who runs it with with Marissa is Jewish. Uh, I have written the most widely used introduction to Judaism in the English language. <laughs> uh, it's it's it. It's actually good that they did it. I, I just want to say this to you, Superintendent, because it it proves that all these labels at conservatives are just artillery. That they they they're not meant. They're not serious. They're just meant to destroy enemies. Uh, we're not. We're we're we're, at, we're as much racist as we are anti-Semitic. Do you know that one of the articles about us in, in one of the Louisiana papers, I, ca- I can't keep track because there were so many attacks, was that we deny that the Civil War was caused by slavery. We have a video, it is one of the original videos of PragerU, that the reason for the Civil War was slavery. It is given by a professor of history at West Point. So they don't even watch what we put out. They just throw out labels with in the, in the hope that it will intimidate and destroy. So it, it, that's the one silver lining of all their attacks. They're not based on anything. Well, you would hope that people are actually well, those paying are, those attention. Are silly, those are silly things known as known as facts. Um, w- one of the things that I, I repeatedly uh, utilized is just sharing. Have you watched the videos? Have you watched the videos? You know, you're, you're indicating this and that. But have you watched the videos? I've watched the videos. Uh, and that's what I would share with them. But look, uh, our country is worth the fight. Um, you know, we, we, we are not perfect by any means. Uh, our standards, um, they do not shy away from that. Uh, they take that head on. Uh, your videos do not shy away from that. You guys take that head on. We're not claiming to be perfect here. Uh, but I think we are claiming to be an exceptional country on the quest for a more perfect union that is worth fighting for. Uh, and I think that we want the kids in the state of Louisiana to, to know and appreciate that. Where do you think the, uh, the average teacher of the 7,500 who came, where, where do you think they stand? Yeah. Look, our, our, our teachers in the state of Louisiana, they're, they're not, they're not trying to get involved in, in something political. You know, they're, they're just trying to do their job. And, and I was so impressed with the over 7,000 teachers that we brought together. That's the largest group that we have ever brought together uh, in the state of Louisiana. And it was it was at the conclusion of the school year. They were done. They, they could have been on a beach. They could have been home uh, watching a, a series on television. But they chose to be with us from 8 in the morning to 4.30 or 5 o'clock in the afternoon getting better at their craft. And so they're just, they are just concerned about their work uh, and, and trying to serve the students under their care. 
Now, I got the same exact impression. I mean, they were just, they want, they are starving for help. They want to grow. They were loving what we were giving to them because it made their lives easier and it actually helped them. Uh, I'll tell you, you mentioned one of the hit pieces on us. So NOLA.com, which I think is a local, a local paper to Louisiana or probably New Orleans, they wrote a hit piece about how there's an outcry against the content that PragerU makes. And some of the videos and content that they were citing is, you know, this book, which is from our Around the World series that talks about having secure borders and legal Im- immigration or when, and this is not part of the, the crosswalk, but that we've created with, with the freedom framework, but this is the content that is so upsetting to them, but they're not even looking at it. This, this one is about back the blue. I mean, simply having respect for police officers. How is that political or controversial? And these were actually ironically one of the more popular books that the teachers were picking up and saying, you know what? I'm married. I'm a teacher, but I'm married to a police officer, I'm going to grab this book and show it to my husband and show it to my classrooms. And so I think that there is a real turning point right now in America where we have brave, brave representatives like you and we have teachers and parents who are realizing that our kids just deserve better and all of us are willing to fight for them. And we just, we're so appreciative of being in this with you and God bless you. Thank you for everything. And Dennis. Yeah, we're, we're, I'm, I'm, I'll, I'll end with a compliment like I began with. I, I've said all of my life before I was at all well-known, so this is just my own personal way of living, uh, that, you know, there are people who collect coins or collect, I don't know, fishing boats, or I don't know, whatever people collect, uh, seashells, uh, and I collect good people. And uh, I'm honored to have you in my collection. Oh, well, thank thank you for saying that. Look, the the overwhelming majority of the the citizens in the state of Louisiana love our country. You know, they they love the schools and the teachers. They they back the blue like in the book. And so, you know, we we felt safe in in speaking truth here. Um, unfortunately, the for the media used it to to sensationalize content for clicks, and and unfortunately, it was used for political uh, games. But at the end of the day, um, we feel like good one. Um, and uh, again, we were confirmed for another term and we're happy to do the work uh, that's entrusted upon us uh, within our agency. Bless you. I, Bless you. I, well, look forward to coming to Louisiana. That way. Thank you guys for having me. It's nice Thank when you. the good people win, huh? This is a wonderful day. It's good. God bless you. God bless you.